Today we're going to find out if my ASUS motherboard can actually support 128 gigabytes of RAM or if it is limited to 64 gigabytes like ASUS claims. And the reason why I've kind of come up with this is because Unraid says that my system is able to support 128 gigabytes. And today we're going to find out which is true. So let's get started. So before we just jump right on in and install the RAM, I just want to show you guys where in the dashboard and within Unraid you can see the uh, maximum report size of memory. So if we scroll down in the memory section, you can see that I have 32 gigabytes currently installed. I'm using about 36% of that. And then it says right here that the maximum size that this system can support is 128 gigabytes. Very interesting. So we're going to see if that's true. While we are waiting for Unraid to shut down, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the memory I selected. So in this particular kit of 128 gigabytes of RAM, I got this mainly because it runs at 3200 megahertz and it was also one of the cheapest kits that was available on the market. And considering that it's the Vengeance RGB Pro, that's actually saying a lot. And with those few words, let's go ahead and get this installed on the server because there's really not much else that we really need to cover for this. So I don't anticipate this going over too well, mainly because one, this RAM is not technically on the supported list according to ASUS. And two, um, while I don't have a graphics card installed in the server, so I, if there is a problem, I won't be able to really diagnose uh, what might be going on. And that's going to be kind of a pain in the butt. I know it's going to be a little hard for you guys to see, but I'm going to remove my old 32 gigabyte kit of memory out of here. And to be clear, there's not really a problem with this. Uh, the only reason why I kind of was exploring this is for a couple of reasons. One, because Unraid says that I can apparently support 128 gigabytes of memory. And two, uh, being that the other day I actually ran out of memory. So I was curious to see if, if I could use 128 gigabytes of RAM, even though I'm pretty confident I can. Um, and the game plan is that basically if this doesn't work out, that I'll end up using um, 64 gigabytes because I know I can do that. And I'll just get that another time. Now, the reason... The reason why I want 64 gigabytes, even though that's probably overkill in most scenarios, is because I actually ran out of RAM the other day while streaming. Um, I, when I do transcodes, I send all those jobs to RAM and not my uh, hard drives or SSDs. And I think that's what ended up causing my system to ultimately freeze and crash is because I ran out of uh, cache space or RAM space when I was doing those transcode jobs. All right, last couple going in. Man, I really hope this thing boots up on the first try because I'm really not looking forward to having to go get a monitor and graphics card just to see what's going on. And so another thing I just thought of while I'm sitting here trying to get this RAM is, is I won't actually be able to set up the XM XMP profile to do 3200 megahertz uh, without a monitor. So I'll probably end up having to do that anyway. But for now, I just want to see if it works. And if it does work, then we'll go get the monitor and we'll try um, setting up the XMP profile. Man, I really need a real kit for this because this is kind of ridiculous. All right, there we go. We just damaged all the running hard drives on the server above, but we managed to get this thing in anyway. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay, so now we're just basically hoping to see that if this Degum thing just comes back up on its own without any intervention. And it looks like it did, so we're off to a great start there. So I think what we can do is if we go straight to the dashboard page, we can see how much RAM uh, is here and usable. So we have just confirmed that ASUS Crosshair 6 Hero does in fact support 128 gigabytes of memory. That is fantastic news. Now I really wish I didn't buy the 32 gigabyte kit. Not that I need 128 gigs, but uh, yeah. I guess we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do with our old kit. <laughs> and here you have it guys. I decided to take the system out and show off that it is in fact running. And the best part about this particular configuration is that it is in fact out of the box working at 3200 megahertz. The only thing I had to do was at the uh, RAM frequency to 3200 megahertz. But that was already done from the previous RAM I was using. And you can see that under the extreme tweaker tab that it is set to 3200 megahertz here. So uh, that was all I did. It was all already preset and started working immediately.
All right, wow. Okay, I didn't expect that to work so easily. Normally I would have to jump through very significant hoops just to get the dang thing to boot, but it just kind of worked. So that makes me really happy. Um, unfortunately, it's RGB that I'll never see, uh, but I think that'll be all right. Um, so now we just got to figure out what I'm going to do with my old 32 gigabyte kit. Huh. And well, on that note, I guess I'll see you guys in the very next video. Peace.